Hello everyone. And so we are entering the last week of June and entering July. We've gone past the, the winter solstice and the days are starting to get longer here in the southern hemisphere. But still very cold. And I hope the guys in the northern hemisphere are enjoying the summertime. This is a time to nurture and love yourself very deeply. We are very much being supported in healing right now. And as the next wave of COVID hit us, and especially here where I live and in Gauteng, we're under stage um, or level four lockdown again. So it, it's time to, to pull back in. But an absolute empowerment in healing at this stage. So it's not to go into the fear. We've had a lot of experience with the fear and it's really coming to a point right now. So the emotions are all over the place. I also saw over the weekend still lots of anger coming in. Finn is here if you can't see him. <laughs> so lots of anger. I see even the animals are reacting to this energy especially the ones that are very sensitive. I see them acting out in ways that they don't usually do. So just be aware of creating a calm space for you and your animals, your kids and everybody. And be very aware of when you go into the defensive and into acting out. I saw that coming up over the weekend and it didn't really make sense. And I had to pull myself back and ask myself, why is this happening? Why am I reacting like this? And then just sort of try to balance yourself out. So, but this week I draw the card from my Archangel card deck and it's Uriel with the message of uncharted. We are in uncharted territory. We don't know which way it's going to go. Not for ourselves, our health, our family, our loved ones or anybody on earth. We don't know what's going to happen with the economy or anything. The only thing we have is trust. And that needs to be our foundation. So if you have COVID or somebody you love and you're really worried and you see yourself going into the fear, just be aware of what you're bringing into your mind and allow yourself to turn it around and to start visualizing that person happy, healthy and whole. And especially for yourself as well. And so we are in a space where everything is closed down again here in our area. So I can't do the yoga classes. But we, we still need to be aware of how we nurture ourselves. What do we do for ourselves even if we don't have that group support? So pulling back into the self this week. But it's a very, very strong week, especially after the full moon of last week and the weekend. I felt that that power of the moon charging me and helping me to sustain myself and create uh, be creative in my thoughts and actions as to what I want to create for myself. So this week also look at things that you can be strong in, things that you have to decide for yourself that you're going to push through it or that you're going to commit to it even although you don't know how you're going to do it. I do see that there's a lot of help showing up. We are being assisted. We are being assisted financially. It, the ways and the means will show up. So just go for it. Just trust and dive right into it. If you are brave enough this week to dive into something and to really push for something and create something, you will see the benefits. I am having my cards reprinted. I am having my first book in Afrikaans it will be published again. So I'm working on that and having new designs made and designing my cards anew. And it's very exciting and very creative, but it's a leap of faith. Um, we, we are all in a situation where we need to just focus on what is important, but also not tell ourselves that something is impossible. So while I am also paying my kids' studies, the university has to be paid by end of August, this is a real leap of faith to put money into something which 
might not be as needed, but is needed for me and my path and my growth. So where's the trust? Where do we balance what we put in and what we allow to flow and what we allow to come to us? So this is a week of, like I say, pulling back, nurturing a lot. We've been through a lot of those last uh, this last couple of months, but still there. The nurturing needs to be your foundation. So a good color to be with is very dark, deep green, like forest green, like emerald green. And so crystals that you can use this week very powerfully is like the emerald, which not a lot of us can afford, but also go for the green tourmaline. Um, you get green tiger's eye. I'm wearing my seraphonite pendant and ring, so seraphonite. And yeah, just anything green like Moldavite. Moldavite is also very powerful, but more mossy green. But it's still that nurturing forest, moss kind of feeling that you allow yourself to be surrounded by nature and to be engulfed by that support and that nurturing. Imagine yourself just sinking into the soil with the grass and the trees around you. And allow yourself to trust in that energy. And here's Odin. I want to show you. Odin's birthday is today. Hello, Ding Ding. Odin is seven years today. He's been my companion for seven years, so I feel so blessed. And our animals are teaching us so much right now. Be very aware of what they are reflecting to you. It might seem difficult, it's still the chaos, what makes me feel vulnerable, what makes me go into the victim, but how can I empower myself? So be very aware of asking the angels to support you, or whatever you believe in, ask spirit to bring you the wisdom, the insight, so that you can feel strong within whatever is. Remember, the only thing that changes is our perception and the way we react to something. So if you act in a way that's helpful to you, supportive to you, that makes you feel strong, joyful, then you release the need to go into fear. And that's the most important thing we're doing on earth right now, is to release the fear. And with where we are with COVID, it's not easy. But it's up to each and every one to do that for themselves and just to be aware of what you create in your, in your inner world and in your outer world. Remember what I said last week about the as within, so without? Very, very prominent right now. So, but allow these energies that's there to support you to be strong, to take a leap of faith, balance with nurturing and self-love. To inspire you to become more aware of who you are as a soul living on this earth right now. You as a soul chose to be here, to be incarnated at this time. And how are you allowing yourself to grow into that? To be true to your true nature, your eternal nature on earth in how you act, how you treat every living being around you and how you see yourselves yourself and others. So just remember, everybody's feeling this energy. Be gentle with other people. Be supportive, but not to your own detriment. You will know, trust your instinct and your intuition as to when you need to be there for somebody and when you need to be there for yourself. So I'm sending you guys lots of love. This is really interesting times. I still feel like I'm living in a twilight world right now. My kids both have their birthdays this weekend and I really don't know what we're going to do within this space to make it special for my daughter's 21st. But let's just go with the flow. So really take care of yourself please guys. Look as to what your body is telling you, as to what you need. Don't go into the fear. Go and get the necessary medicine but don't put all your faith in the medicine. Put your faith in you in what you believe for yourself, how you believe in health, wealth, well-being, in bliss, in joy, in what is around you and what you experience and make that your focus every moment of every day and you'll see how you transform your life. 
I'll see you next week. Please take good care of yourself. Sending you lots of love. Bye, guys.